you know, water, I fished in water that looks like to you who's mating. So, I mean, it, it can be really dark water sometimes. We can't choose where we fish when we're fishing a tournament. So you have to be prepared for just about anything. Uh, these dark colors like uh, black or this, uh, this June bug work really well. You know, if I'm in water that's six inches to a foot visibility, I'm gonna throw something really dark because it silhouettes well and those fish can pick up on that bait a lot easier. So, you know, I, I had it explained to me one time that fish are like people in the sense that when you put somebody in a dark room and you turn out all the lights and it's pitch black, the first thing we wanna do is stick our hand out and go to the wall. So that's just orientation. And what happens when you do that is you're orientating yourself. You have something next to you that lets you know where you're at. You're not standing in the middle of something. Same thing with muddy water and fish. So when the water gets really muddy, tighten up your cast, put them right next to the logs, right into the, the junk. Bass are gonna orient themselves next to those, that type of cover when the water gets really dirty and a shaky head is a good way to find them. Now we touched on size just a little bit a while ago. Now this, this is a, a seven and a half inch worm that I like to use and it looks really big and gaudy on a shaky head. It really does. And, but this, this rig has really made me a lot of money. This is a Mag Fatty or the Mag Fatties by uh, Z-Man. This is a Canada Crawl color and it's a pretty heavy worm. So you might want to tighten down your, real, your, your adjustment just a little bit when you're throwing this heavy of a bait. But this last tick, like I said, is really heavy. So make those adjustments before you, before you get them on the water. And they go well on the shaky heads because of the keeper on the, on the base that I use, on the jigs that I use. And use them pretty much the same way. Only I tend to throw them in a little heavier stuff because of the size of the bait and the way it, it matches up against the head, the, the shaky head. You don't get a lot of snags. I can fish a lot heavier timber, a lot more brush piles and, and stuff like that. So, so don't be afraid to get out the big worms and throw them on a shaky head. They're very effective also. Okay guys, now we're gonna talk a little bit about your rod and reel setup. Now, like I said earlier, before we started on this, uh, a lot of people equate a shaky head with lighter tackle. I don't, and it's a growing, growing uh, uh, part of the sport to use the heavier bass tackle with these shaky heads because people are finding out that you can actually uh, use these, these baits with them. So I start out, this is a CK series, kayak series, uh, cashing rod. It is a seven foot three, medium heavy. Uh, my reel is a Lose Pro, Tournament Pro TI. Uh, this is one of the better reels I think that Lose makes. And like I say, everybody makes a good reel out there. This is my personal favorite, it's the Lose. Uh, everybody has a perfect rod out there. There's a lot of rods being, whatever is you, in your comfort zone, that's what you use. This is my personal setup. This is what I, I choose to use. And it works really well for me. But you have to be comfortable with what you use. Okay, as I mentioned before, this is a kayak series rod by Cashin. What makes it a kayak series rod? Well, they've taken into consideration that we are always wearing a life jacket or a PFD when we're on the water for safety. Uh, sake. Now, a shorter handle, this, this handle is about a half inch shorter, and what we run into on a kayak a lot of times is our PFD on a longer handled rod tends to hit us, you know, on our PFD. So what Cashin has done, they've shortened the handle a little bit. This rod sticks out away from your body a little bit more, so you're not, you're not like this all day, which creates fatigue. By keeping that handle in here close, you can work it just like you can off of a boat. So the shorter handle on these rods tend to work well when you're in a, a, a kayak fishing situation. Okay guys, now we're gonna talk a little bit about gear ratio. Now, on this reel, this particular reel, and this rod setup, I use th this setup a lot of times around brush uh, and heavy cover. So I want something that's gonna get that fish out of there a little bit faster or, uh, than most other reels. I'm not gonna use a 6'4 spinnerbait reel when I'm fishing those uh, kinds of situations. 
So this reel is a 7.5, uh, which seems to be perfect for what I use it for. You can use an 8 to 1. Uh, when, if you want to get into the 8s, this has a little bit more cranking power than an 8 to 1. Uh, it's barely noticeable, but it, it, it is noticeable. And this, this setup will get those fish out of that heavy cover quicker than most rods. So if you're, you know, if you're going to throw a, a crankbait or something like that, those six four six eights, those are those are great rods, you know, swim baits. But when I'm fishing that kind of cover and I'm fishing around docks, like I say, I want something that's got, you know, good cranking power and a good amount of line retrieve per turn of the handle. So a seven five is perfect for me.